motorsport auctions, the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts and associated equipment, visit their website for more details. Good morning racing fans, welcome to Bosa Race Roundup, we're here today to kick off the start of our latest event, the BMW Z4 and Mazda MX-5 Championship. The opening round of our first multi-class event comes from Summit Point Raceway. We have 25 drivers starting the opening round, so let's concentrate on the BMW Z4s first then. For Bentley Boys Racing, it was Simon Underhill who took an overall pole, a 108.081. He was followed by Neil Bamber for MKB Racing and one of our new drivers, Brendan Sills, in third for Team Clockwork. In fourth, it's David Rowland in the second of the MKB Racing Z4s, he's head of Van Delden who this season's driving for Acorn Printing. Phil Gregory and Gawenicke return ahead of Ian Thorne and Ryan Walker. Barry Bird is in 10th, a second new driver in the Z4s, he's ahead of Akhtar and Beresford. Our third new driver is Ronnie Gibbons in 13th. To the MX5s it was Alan McCain who took his first pole, a 123.306, that's for Bentley Boys Racing, so they're on pole in both classes. He starts ahead of Matt Talea for MKB Racing, and there you see Adam Thorne. Yes, Adam Thorne and Ian Thorne are related, it is a father-son combo, they are driving for Bowdoin Solutions. Ricky Green also returns for MKB Racing, he's head of Russell Barnes, a new driver, Scott Malcolm and Darren Ford, Chris Buttrell and Jan Malesver, Martin Brandon and Francis Winnell, with Marion Bradshaw, the only driver not setting a time. It's great to see some new names on the grid, but before we head down to the race start, let's jump on board with Simon Underhill for that 108.081. Riding on board with Bentley Boys then, Simon Underhill about to start his qualifying lap. The qualifying session was split into two parts, the MX-5s went out first for 15 minutes, they then came back into the pits to let the Z4s come out and fight it out for the overall pole position. Simon now breaking hard down towards turn 1 and turn 2. The race format for this championship is 30 minutes per race, we have done away with the number of laps. We were setting around 75 to 100 kilometers per race, but that will change in preparation for 2016. Into turn three then, one that always catches drivers out here, particularly the MX-5s. If you get the line wrong there, you are off and into the wall. Down now into turns four and five, this is where it starts getting really twisty and tight. With the Z4s so much faster than the MX-5s, we're estimating every five or six laps they will catch up into traffic, and then it will be tough to try and get through that and away without giving up too many positions. Simon now coming into turns 8 and 9, don't forget that the format for the bonus points has changed as well so we'll explain a little bit more about that after the race once we get to the results. So Simon into the last corner, turn 10, power down wide here, use as much as the track as you can and coming back up to the start finish line, a 108.081 from Simon. Acorn Printing are the team wear supplier for Bosra and have even produced clothing items for President Clinton. See the video description to learn more. So we're about to kick off the Z4 and MX5 Championship. Simon Underhill is on pole ahead of Bamba and Tills. So everyone waiting for the lights to go green and we are away. Great start from Simon Underhill. We're watching Martin Gwenicke and Phil Gregory there. Down towards turn one, Simon Underhill defends the line from Bamba. See the second of the MKB racing cars there, David Rowan just ahead of Gawenicke. So Martin gets ahead of Philip, but as we go into turn three, David Rowan gets it wrong. He slides the car, Gawenicke's got nowhere to go and he follows suit, both cars off track. We're going to move back now to the MX-5s for the start of the race and see how they got underway. So your top three there is McCain from Talaya and then Adam Thorne. It's great to see so many cars on the grid. 25 is the largest field we've had since we started Bosra at the start of 2015. So the MX-5s get away then. It's a good start from Talaya and McCain. Talaya does have the inside lines. So that's an advantage as we run down to turn one. You can see the gap now between the MX-5s and the Z-4s has already opened up. Keeping on Ricky Green though, he's at a poor start, he started in 4th, he's now down in about ninth place. So we're going to move to Ronnie Gibbons now, one of our new drivers. He is driving for Tech Speed Racing. Into turn 3. You see Gawenicke and Rowan there, both off track. So he tucks in behind one of the Bowden Solutions cars. Goes ahead of David Rowan. Ryan Walker ahead in the Motorsport Auction Delivery Z4. Tries to take the outside line now. But in doing so he does run wide. Ronnie doing well to keep the car straight and not spin it. He comes back onto track and narrowly misses his teammate Bird. Onto Martin Gawenicke. 
after his poor start he caught straight up to the back of Akta as we came round the last corner onto the main straight he did have the drag from there the extra speed so he goes up the inside of Akta down towards turn one if you're going to pass at Summit Point Raceway this is the place to do it get a good drive out the final corner take the advantage and then into turn one make the pass Phil Gregory was the first of the Bentley boys to spin it round turn four so in he goes, still cold tyres perhaps, keeps out of the way of all the traffic but that does hold him up because he has to wait for everybody to come past before he can rejoin. So he tucks in behind Akta and Gawenicki. We're going to stay with Gawenicki onto lap number five because he was involved in another incident. There you see Bird just ahead of him following Marion Bradshaw. So Gawenicki tries to move up the inside, taps the side of Bird's car, both of them spinning off track. Martin does rejoin but then he gets collected by Rowland. He had nowhere to go. We're going to revisit that now on board with David. So we jump into his Z4. You can see the action up ahead. Into the right-hander. You can see the smoke coming off the tyres. So poor old David had nowhere to go and he went straight into the back of Gawenicki's car. Fortunately for David, the pit lane was just up ahead. So kill two birds with one stone, get his pit stop out of the way and fix the damage. We're going to move on board now to our driver of the year contenders. That is Van Delden and Bamba. They both go into turn one side by side. So Neil Bamba takes the advantage out of there, Van Delden right on the back of him, you can see traffic up ahead including two of the team quad white cars. So Bamba and Van Delden go for the left hand side and then all of a sudden Van Delden is in the wall. Now we're going to replay that now, if you keep an eye on the quad white cars, it is Martin Brandon on the left hand side so as they come past it is the smallest of touches on Van Delden's car. That's not what he needed to get this event off to a good start. So we move on to Brendan Tills. We've actually skipped back to lap number three. This is the fastest lap of the race. You see Neil Bamber and Simon Underhill are up ahead. We do hope by including the fastest laps that it does benefit people out there who want to improve their racecraft. So it'll give you a good idea of the lines to be taken around here at Summit Point Raceway. Whilst we watch this then from Brendan, let me just remind you as I do every week, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It does encourage us to produce even more videos. If you are like what you're seeing and you do want to get involved, then head over to the website. It is free to join us and you can be on the grid next week for round two at Brands Hatch. Also while I'm here, I'd just like to thank all our partners, Bowdoin Solutions, Acorn Printing and Motorsport Auctions. They are all helping us out in every single way they can. Uh, the prizes for the last event from Acorn Printing and Bowdoin Solutions have gone out to the winners, so you'll be receiving them very soon. I'd also just like to thank the subscribers, our members so far. You can take out a subscription package on our website. It's a few pounds a month, but it does help to maintain the website. We can always look to expand on the features we offer. And hopefully, if we can get enough together, then we'll be offering extra prizes as well. You will notice at the top of your screen this week, the ticker service isn't working. Now, we have sent an email to iRacing. We've had nightmares with the replay files. Hopefully, we'll get that sorted for you, though, for next week at Brands Hatch. We move on to the battle for 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th in the Z4s. Here you can see Jonathan Beresford, Barry Bird, Brendan Tills and Van Delden. Van Delden has made moves back up since he's off, courtesy of Martin Brandon. This is lap number 14, so as we went into the corner and as we come out the corner, the order is totally different. You can see Van Delden really pushing in the Acorn printing car to get round the outside of Tech Speed Racing's Barry Bird. So out of all four, it was Van Delden who came out best up into fourth position. He is followed by Brendan Tills ahead of Barry Bird. Now we're going to stay with Van Delden and Tills because a couple of laps later, on lap number 19, things changed altogether. So Van Delden is being followed by Tills into turn one. Tills tries to go for the outside line and then cut on the inside. He taps the back end of Van Delden, pushes him off track. Van Delden's race going from bad to even worse. Chris Butterell was chasing Matt Talea in the MX-5s. Now Matt Talea was keeping one eye on Simon Underhill, but what he didn't do was keep an eye on where Chris was as well. He left the door open for him. Chris taking full advantage of the format of this championship. We're on board with David Rowland, looking back at Ryan Walker through the final turn and onto the main straight. Both of them getting a good exit out of there, but Ryan into the draft of David's car. Ryan then decides to make the move up the inside down towards turn one before we get on the brakes. But as we move on to Ryan's car, he is way too late on the brakes. Ryan off track. All Ryan's hard work undone, rather than gaining position, he has actually lost even more time on the back of David. We're going to move to Francis Linnell, one of our MX-5 drivers. Now, we don't know what was going on here. We don't know if he lost connection to his hardware, but he just seemed to drift off track. He almost collected one of the Z4s and had into the wall there. 
Staying with the MX-5s, but moving out to the lead of the class, it was Alan McCain start up front. You see the Z4s weaving in and out between them. So Alan into the first corner, downshifting too quickly and popping the engine. He did manage to keep it going all the way though and get back to the pits, not losing too many places. Another driver who decided to pop his engine so close to the end of the race was Chris Buttrell. We ride on board with Ricky Green, Chris just ahead, now these two were having a fantastic battle until Chris popped his engine. It was the mandatory pit stop that gave Chris the lead over Ricky, Chris being towed and finishing the race in the pits. Back up to the front in the Z4s, we are on board with Neil Bamber. You see Simon Underhill had just made his mandatory pit stop, comes out just ahead, battle for first and second. So down towards the first corner and Neil has got the run on Simon, carrying the extra speed. Into the first turn side by side, Neil has the inside line. Marion Bradshaw, or Gary Bradshaw he is known, is just up ahead in the MX-5, so round the left hand side. There is slight contact between Neil Bamba and Gary Bradshaw, so Neil off track somehow manages to dodge the concrete wall. That is very, very similar to the incident earlier on with Van Delden. You can see the car is pulling to the left, Neil having to correct that and keep steering to the right to keep it in a straight line. So we're going to go and see that from another angle then. So round the first corner you can see Gary just up ahead. And it is just the faintest of touches from Gary's care. Neil very lucky to get away with that despite the steering damage. What will that do for the driver of the year standings? To the chequered flag and it was Simon Underhill who took a well-deserved win. The opening round here at Summit Point Raceway. He just happened to also see Philip Gregory as he crossed the line. He was a lap down. But a great sight to see both BMW Z4s for Bentley Boys Racing coming across at the same time. Bowden Solutions produce the very best load cell mods and pedal adapters to use with Thrustmaster wheels. You can order yours now at bowdensolutions.com. After a fantastic opening round to the championship, let's check on the official race results. It was Simon Underhill who took it ahead of Brendan Tills and Van Delden. Neil Bamba finished in fourth ahead of David Rowland and Ryan Walker in the first of the Motorsport Auctions team. Actar returned for Bowden Solutions in seventh ahead of Gawenicke and our newcomer Barry Bird. Phil Gregory finished in tenth for Bentley Boys ahead of Ian Thorne. And Jonathan Beresford returns after his boxing match in the last of the Team Clockwork BMW Z4s. For the MX5s it was Adam Thorne who took his first win in his first race ahead of Scott Malcolm and Matt Talaya. Ricky Green finished in fourth for MKB Racing ahead of the pole sitter Alan McCain for Bentley Boys Racing. Jan Moesifer and Darren Ford came in next ahead of Marion Bradshaw and Martin Brandon. Russell Barnes came home tenth in class ahead of Chris Butcher and Francis Winnell. Ronnie Gibbons the in retirement in the BMW Z4 for Tech Speed Racing. To the driver's standings and things have changed for bonus points, each class gets a point for pole and a point for fastest lap. You also get a point if you finish the race, you get an additional bonus point if you gain the most positions in class and you get two bonus points if you run a complete clean race, no incident points. So with that in mind it is Adam Thorne who leads from Simon Underhill and Scott Malcolm. Brendan Till sits in 4th ahead of Van Delden and Talia separates him and Bamba. Ricky Green sits in ninth ahead of Al McCain and Marion Bradshaw sits 10th. Bradshaw picked up six bonus points this week, the most of any driver. Rowland and Akta are next up ahead of Moesva and Walker. Darren Ford are newcomers in 15th ahead of Gawenicke and Baird. Martin Brandon in 18th ahead of Russell Barnes. Gregory in 20th and Chris Butter in 21st after blowing his engine. Ian Thorne in the second of the Thorns is 22nd ahead of Beresford. Winnell and Gibbons bring up the rear. The team standings also see changes in that it is a complete sum of all the drivers who took part for a team, not the minimum amount of drivers. So MKB Racing ahead of Bowden Solutions and Team Clockwork in third. Bentley Boys Racing sitting fourth despite a win for Simon Underhill and the pole for Alan McCain. Acorn Printing are next up in fifth ahead of Motorsport Auctions and Tech Speed Racing sits seventh after that retirement from Ronnie Gibbons. That's it from us this week. Don't forget to join us at Brands Hatch for round two. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you again soon. Thank you ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.